What is happening guys? Lawson here. So, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Today is December 26th. I hope you had a good Christmas or whatever holiday you're celebrating. I hope you had a good one. I have been asked to do a Rod and Reel Arsenal video for a while. You know, people have been asking me to do it all the time. And I did one long ago, probably back in May maybe, May or June, I did one. And I figure it's time to update it, you know, I've switched rods around, I've got new tackle, new reels, so today is going to be simple, straightforward, I'm going to be going through all my main rods that I use, which there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them that I use consistently, and I'm going to go through them and kind of tell you what I use them for, what rods on it, what line leader I typically use, the reel, go through the whole shebang. And we'll knock this out, and you guys can kind of get a more in-depth look of, you know, what gear I use and what goes in my brain, you know, why I'm pairing this gear with certain stuff. So we're going to hop into it. First off, new to the 2016, this will be the, the 2017 lineup essentially, is a Shimano Calcutta 400 paired with a G Loomis 7'11 heavy swim bait rod. You know, I literally just got this yesterday. I have been wanting to get a big giant rod for throwing swim baits and for throwing flare hawks and spool techs. I'll finally probably start throwing some of those now that I have a rod to handle it. You know, I've really been wanting something like this for a long time for throwing big, big baits. And this thing, I mean, I used it this morning. It was really windy and I had a monster fish on that broke me off, but that's besides the point. You know, this thing is just going to be, I think, a big fish machine right there. So it's a Calcutta 400 on a 7 foot 11 G Loomis heavy swim bait rod. Um, I mean, I'm really excited to get this thing going. I have 30 pound braid, about 250 yards of 30 pound braid on there. And then I have about a 7 foot long 40 pound fluorocarbon leader on there. And attached to it, you can see the big giant swim bait. This is a Savage Gear 8 inch mullet. Um, I think this thing's going to have big plans for my future, you know, catching real big fish on this thing. That is a plan for this, throwing big top waters, big swim baits like this. This is going to be a big fish catching machine come summertime, I think. We'll, uh, we'll stick with the bait casters. Let's kind of knock the bait casters off. Even though that last, the Calcutta, that's going to be used for salt water. Um, bait caster right here, this is a Johnny Moore Signature Series. 7 to 1 gear ratio reel that I use. It's, it's been a really great reel. I've had this thing for about 2 or 3 years. You can see it's pretty beat up. You know, I use the heck out of this thing. This is my go-to bait casting reel. It is on a 7 foot 6 heavy action lose rod right here, a flipping stick. You know, I use this thing. I'll, I'll flip on this guy right here. You know, I don't do a ton of flipping, but when I have the chance, I've used this. Mainly, what I use this for is a frog rod. And it works great, you know. This is 50 pound braid on here, which is kind of on the light side in terms of frogs and flipping. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a uh, light is better kind of guy. I like smaller presentations. But, you know, this thing is primarily used for frogs and throwing in heavy cover. You know, I might put big easies on here and burn them through grass, that kind of stuff. You know, this is my rod for fishing and cover, essentially. 50 pound braid, 7 foot 6 heavy action rod. Johnny Moore Signature Series Reel. This has been a great stick for me, a really great combo. You know, like I said, it's for fishing around grass and structure. You want that braid to rip through grass, you want a heavy action rod to pull that fish out of the cover. It works well. Okay, moving along. This right here is just an old Fluger Reel. I don't even know what model it is. It literally doesn't say anything on it. It's, it's, it's an old fluger reel. I think it was about 70 bucks, and I've had this thing for like four years, and it still works fantastic. I still catch a ton of fish on it. I have it spooled with 20 pound fluorocarbon right there, and this is what I use for throwing spinner baits, swim baits, lighter swim baits. Um, I'll throw Texas rigs on it. This is kind of my finesse fishing rig, and when I'm not fishing really tight to cover, you know, whether that, I mean, you know, grass and stuff like that, stuff I need to cut through with braid, you know, I'll fish this around docks and outside of grass heads and that kind of stuff. And it works really well. I love the feel of fluorocarbon when you're working it. I feel like you can feel so much with it. That's just my personal opinion. I enjoy using fluorocarbon. So, Fluger Reel, 20 pound fluoro, 
hooked up on a 7 foot medium heavy rod right here. This is actually just a Gander series, a Gander Advantage series 7 foot rod and it's, it's worked well. You know, I have no complaints about it. You know, sometimes the uh, finishing touches like eyes and stuff like that can be cheaper on rods like this, but I think this rod was only 40 bucks and this reel was 70 bucks. And so it's a very, very cheap combo and it's been very good for me. It's worked really well. I catch a lot of fish on it. I probably throw the Texas rig and the spinner bait more than anything on fluorocarbon. I just hit my rod on my roof. Moving right along, this is the combo you see me throw more than anything right there. That is my 4000 Shimano Stratic on a 7 foot St. Croix Tidemaster and I catch so much fish on this thing. This has been a staple to my fishing career to say. Um, it just is a perfect, perfect all around setup for inshore. You know, the only thing, it's a little too bulky and heavy for flipping docks, like, you know, throwing DOA shrimps underneath docks, but everything else it crushes it. I've caught big giant snook on top waters. I've caught that monster, like 35, 40 pound jack, was caught on this, throwing a live mullet. That was a little light, but, you know, this fish, this fish, this reel is a workhorse. I've caught so many big fish on it. And this rod actually was a gift from uh, the man himself, John B. gave me this rod, very nice of him. But typically, this is 20 pound braid. I have 50 pound fluorocarbon tied on right there. And typically what I'm throwing on this setup is I'm either throwing a top water early in the morning or I'm throwing a medium swim bait like that. I use this rod a lot around bridges and it works very well. But it is typically topwaters and medium sized swim baits is what falls in this category. This is a 7 foot medium St. Croix Tidemaster, 4000 Stratic, 20 pound braid, 50 pound flora. Alright, moving right along. This is my Shimano Sustain 3000. This is probably the nicest reel that I own in terms of price range. And it is paired on a Spin Fisher 7 foot. 15 pound braid to 30 pound fluorocarbon. Now I get a lot of questions, you know, why why do I have a sustain paired on a seven foot kind of cheap spin fisher? Well, to be honest, this rod, it's been great. And I have no complaints about this rod whatsoever. I've had it for probably six months and it's caught me tons of fish and it works perfectly fine. Um, the reason I even have this rod is we actually bought, my dad bought a spin fisher combo with a 3500 spin fisher and it came with this rod on it. And the spin fisher, we used it for like two months and it started grinding and completely would lock up when you're reeling. It would just wouldn't crank any further. So I ended up taking the rod from that and putting it on my sustain. And the combo has been perfect. You know, it handles medium to large fish extremely well. You know, it couldn't handle a big giant jack or, you know, it would have a really tough time handling a snook over 40 inches. But, you know, those fish in that 25 to 36 inch range, this thing works well. It works extremely, extremely well. And this is what I primarily use for flipping docks with artificial shrimp. You know, right now I have a small popper tied on it because I'll throw on these at some small tarpon. But typically I'm pitching a DOA shrimp on this rod right here. And... It's just the perfect balance where it has a good backbone, but it also has a very, very sensitive tip on the top. And the reason that's so important, the backbone is so when I get thumped underneath the dock, I can tighten down and I can put some muscle to that fish and try to pull them out. And the tip is important because I want to really be able to feel that shrimp because it's such a finesse presentation. You know, I want to be able to feel what's going on down there and just slowly twitch it and bounce it. And so that is very helpful. You know, this combo, I don't know why, you used to not use it that much. You know, you I've had some people say, like, how come all of a sudden I'm using sustain all the time? I really don't know. Like, I just wasn't using it, but I realized it's just a killer, killer setup, especially for fishing around docks. That's primarily what I use this thing for, and it works really well. All right, slowly getting there. Second to last rod and reel setup. This is a Stratic 3000 that is paired on a 7 foot medium light Gander series guide series rod and it's funny how I got this rod really um, not necessarily funny but I had a St. Croix Triumph on this 
This whole entire setup, by the way, was I actually bought this for Alyssa for a present. Which, if you guys don't know who Alyssa is, that's my girlfriend. I bought it for her because she loves to fish with me. But this setup was purposely designed kind of for a female angler in mine. It is a very light rod. Stratics are extremely light and efficient reel. And this thing works. And she can throw this all day and doesn't worry about, you know, getting tired. Her arm doesn't get tired of her wrist. You know, she can throw this bad boy all day long. And so, originally it was paired with a St. Croix Triumph. And I was out fishing one day throwing the cast net and this is back when I used to use live bait a lot and I had the rod, the Triumph sitting in a rod holder and I think you guys can tell where it's going. I spun around tried to throw some mullet and literally clothesline and snapped St. Croix in half. And I was out of a nice rod so I went and picked up this Gander Series rod for like 50 bucks. And this thing has been the bomb, dude. We have had this rod for over a year and a half now and it's caught big snook, Alyssa's caught black drum on it. It just works extremely well. It is a seven foot guide series rod and 3000 stratic, 15 pound braid, 30 pound fluorocarbon. Now this rod, primarily used for throwing shrimp and twitch baits like that, throwing lighter little twitch baits and mirrodines, that kind of stuff. You know, it works well for covering a lot of water and I like throwing stuff with treble hooks on it because it does not have the biggest backbone. You know, you're not gonna get an incredibly strong hook set with this rod. That's just a matter of fact because it's a light rod, you know, so you're not going to have all that driving power. So treble hooks work well because the fish hook themselves for it. But this has been a fantastic rod. We've caught a lot of fish on it. It's a little beat up, but that's just because we use these things a lot. Okay, last but not least, the 1000 sustain on the G Loomis Maglite rod. 6'6 six six mag light. What's funny is this is probably actually my most expensive combo I have, and I don't even use it that much. And you know, when I first bought this rod, I actually didn't intend to pair it on this 1000. The 1000 was originally on a 6'6 six six flats blue, but I bought this rod to pair it with my, stra or, uh, my 3000 sustain, and I bought it for that. And it just it ended up being a little too light for the sustain. You guys, you know, I, I caught some big fish on it. There's a video where I caught probably a 35, 36 inch snook on this little maglite rod paired with the sustain on a twitch bait way back in the mangroves and it held up and it worked fine but it's just not a good weight setup for that reel. So I decided to throw it on my 1000 and this is 10 pound braid to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on there you can see you can barely see that and that is a crappie jig right there and this is used for dock lights. I throw it at little snook on dock lights these crappie jigs work really well. Also throw a really small mirrodine, smaller DOA shrimp. I don't, I don't get a ton of use out of this rod and reel, which, which is unfortunate, you know, because it's a very nice setup, but I don't get to use it a ton because I tend to catch, I mean, not big, but decent sized snook off dock lights, and it can be hard to wrestle fish with such a light test and a light rod, but this thing is the bomb. It's very sensitive. It is the most sensitive tip that I've ever used. You can feel, and you can see how little that, it just... It's extremely sensitive, it works really well for throwing light baits. It's a good setup, but I just don't get a ton of use out of it. But maybe I'll start using it a little more when the wind lets up a little bit. It's just hard to throw light stuff right now when it's super, super windy. Guys, that is everything I believe. That is the updated rod and reel list that I use most of the time. I'm super pumped to have that new Shimano Calcutta and G Loomis in the arsenal. I think that's going to be a huge game changer for targeting big snook, big jack, tarpon, everything. I'm really pumped to start using that thing and start fishing with that a lot more. That should be awesome. You know, I don't know much else to say. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this breakdown. I thought, you know, this is the most exciting video, but I figured people have been asking for it, so I might as well do it so you guys can kind of have a better in depth look at what I use my gear for. That is it. Until next time.